I was uh, I was the director of operations for a local winery for four years and quite honestly my wife and I sat down after four years and we said if you're gonna work 80 hours a week for somebody it might as well be for yourself and we saw a hole in the marketplace for a local micro craft distillery and we said you know what beverage chemistry is beverage chemistry again so we sat down and life of Riley was born um, it was kind of a it's kind of an antiquated term it basically means the carefree comfortable life which as you can see in my flip-flops and my shorts uh, it says right on our bottle our, our the definition of life of Riley is a carefree comfortable existence so for us it's riding down to Casanova Lake with a top down on the Jeep and swimming in the lake all day and having campfire with friends and just having an awesome time but at the same time uh, being cognizant of where your stuff comes from enjoying the sunset and enjoying the small things in life so that, that's how life of Riley was born so for us it's the story I like to tell is craft spirits are where wine was 20, 25 years ago, and craft beer was 10 to 15 years ago. Now people are turning their attention to the back of the bar. So they're saying, okay, I wanna know where my wine comes from. I wanna know where my beer comes from. Now I wanna know where my spirits come from. So we're kind of riding that crest of popularity, but it, I find it just to be a natural extension of people wanting to know where their stuff is, supporting local, and know that they're supporting local farmers and families. I think that's what people don't really understand when it comes to craft beverages. Aren't you worried about 1911? Aren't you worried about Adirondack? No, I'd like to have my tasting room right next to them because all we're looking to do is, is grow the New York pie and get people, more people into New York products. In terms of Central New York, I think we're on the forefront. I've always thought we were on the forefront of people trying to understand where their stuff comes from and then reinvesting back into the community. There is something so cool happening in the Utica, Central New York area that my theory on that is Utica and the Mohawk Valley got such a poor rap for such a long time that so many young people finally just bubbled up and said, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to start building something cool right in my backyard. So we use 100% New York, New York uh, flaked corn. Comes from the Finger Lakes, mostly Skinny Atlas, Auburn, Geneva area. And we get it sourced here. Comes by 18-wheeler. 30-foot uh, auger comes swinging out and gets pumped right into those bags over there. So our Disco Lemonade is our Raspberry Vodka Fresh Squeezed Lemonade and we use about 20 to 25 mint leaves that we soak overnight. That'll be our Disco Lemonade product. And then um, after that, the sky's the limit when it comes to pre-mixed cocktails. So we're taking our business in a completely different direction. We've poured it for people and they've absolutely loved it.